close on the first serve of the tournament is there. They're going to set it. Belen Nelson hits it over. That's a point first for block and roll. It's one to nothing. And no one's hit in the air. And Mr. Griffith dives and can't get there. It's another point for block and roll. Two to nothing right off the bat. These games are eight minutes long. The time's at 7.40 right now. Two to nothing. Jeffries in the air, no good. And it is a three to nothing lead right off the bat. Yeah, extremely, extremely early lead right here. Yeah, that one's gonna be hit out of bounds and the Wasians are on the scoreboard. It's three to one. Wajan's trying to see if they can make a comeback here. Seven minutes to go. There's the serve. It's a bit low. Hit by Vote over to Nelson. And she easily gets it over there. It's four to one. Nelson with her second kill of the game. Caden Brown to serve. Oh, wait. and it goes over somehow. Hits the top of the net. And it's going to go over. Kaden Brown with the ace, and it's five to one. 6.30 to go here. Brown, gonna go again. There it is. And it is gonna be out, and it's five to two now. With 6.20 to go. The Asians, uh before the game, they seem like tough competition. But they really that one's gonna be out. It's going to be six to two now. Block and roll. Starting to turn some heads. Pierce Elsie to serve. Oh no. I don't know what the confusion is. Three to five is the score. Block and roll up here with 5.45 to go. Elsie stepped on the line. Yeah, six to three is the score. Block and roll up by three, there it is. Hit by Caden Brown, and there's the set over. Bree hits it over the net. Wajian's setting up something now. Bowie hits it over now. That one's way out of bounds, and it's seven to three, block and roll. Winner of this will take on to play the Net Ninjas. That is a well set up team. Head coach Cash, Cash May. The game will be in a little while. Nelson with the serve, and that one's going to be hit out of bounds by Ramsey Perrier, and it's 8-3 to three there. It's Belin Nelson with the ace. She was a senior on the Gravit volleyball team and absolutely dominated all the way their way to the state semifinals. Nelson going to hit it over. Oh, a good job there by the Wajans to get it over. Now he's going to hit that one over. Mr. Griffith hits it up. It's now over, and now Walk and Roll can set something back up as Holden Jeffries gets it over. That's a great play there, and it's 9-3. to 4-17 remaining. That one's it up in the air. Mr. Griffith hits it over. What a... Play by Mr. Griffith, and it's nine to four. And there it is, Holden Jeffries gonna hit it, tap it over. And now, Walk and Roll can set some back up. Jeffries there, absolutely dominating the front row. It's 10 to four with 3.38 to go. Wajian's going to set something back up. Vote tried to block it. That one's going to be hit out of bounds. It's 11 to 4. It's a blowout here in the first round. 317 remaining. Bree hits it over. Griffith sets it up. Holden Jeffries there. Good block. 
And it's spiked. And that's going to be a kill there. Wajans finally getting a point up on the scoreboard there again. It's 11 to 5 now, 252 remaining. Brown will hit that one over. Griffith sets it up. Purrier is blocked by Eric Vogt, and that is an amazing play by Eric Vogt in the Giannis Octancumpo jersey. It's 12 to 5. So what are you thinking about a comeback here? I think it may be a little too late. 226 is not much time, and block and roll is just dominating. Elsie yeah. up and over on his head, they say. They're just adding on. It's 13 to 5, an absolute blowout here in the first round. Vote hits it over, and no shot for the Wajans there. It is 14 to 5. Two minutes to go here in the game. Eric Vogt, another serve. Well played, though, by the Wajans. They'll get it back over. Holden Jeffries hits it over the net. Now Purrier. They try and get it back to him. Does hit it over Holden. Jeffries with the spike. Oh, my goodness. It's all block and roll, 15 to 5. 133. Oh. Caden Brown says, you ladies all right, as he catches that serve. It's 15 to six here, 120 to go. Oh my goodness. Van Bowie showing it off, 15 to seven. But it's probably gonna be too little too late here. Minute remaining. Get it over. Caden Brown sets up holding Jeffries as he gets that one for the kill. 16 to 7. And 43 seconds remaining here in the game. Next game will be the Mathletes versus Stacked. That one will be right after this. A point will be awarded to the Wajans. But it looks like here, block and roll is going to get themselves a win. They started to form some sort of a comeback, but too little. That hit's going to be over the net, and 17 to 8 is going to be your final score. Block and roll will escape out of the first round with a win. And that will be the game, 17-8, the final. The Mathletes versus Stacked is coming up. Turn on. I'm here with Bree, who just dominated the Wajans. How does it feel to get that first round win? Listen, it feels good, but it was a little nerve wracking coming out, knowing that they're as good as they are. They play, they play like rec volleyball, and we're just all random athletes and staff. <laughs> well, you're facing off against the Net Ninjas next, led by Holden Betts. What do you guys need to do to keep the momentum going? We just got to set Boleyn. I mean, we have a volleyball player on our team. We got to use her to our advantage. I think a lot of teams are going to have a hard time stopping her, so just keep giving her the ball. All right. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Next game. <laughs>
the top. Get away far out here. And everybody comes back. So stacked right here is just dominating. We're having difficulties with the scoreboard. We're getting that fixed to the team names. And it is a five to nothing stacked lead. They're the favorites to win the tournament, led by Shannon Moots and Piper Beatty. They're expected in this game for a blowout. This is basically a 1-16 game if you put it in March Madness stereotypes. Beatty hits that one over, and that's gonna go down. And it is six to nothing right off the bat. We're only about 45 seconds in the game. Carla Hicks, head coach of the Mathletes. Not really impressed she's gonna get some subs in. Eight to nothing is the score. Now nine to nothing. Athletes really struggling here. Trying to get on the scoreboard. Eight to nothing is the score. Piper Beatty with the spike. It's another easy kill. It's nine to nothing, an absolute blowout here. If you thought last game was a blowout, this is a blowout. Oh yeah. Don't be nice! Fans extremely upset. They were pulling for the upset, but I don't think it's gonna happen right now. Holy smokes! And then they get a kill, and the crowd goes insane after that one. Mr. Powers. <laughs> Nine to one is the score now. Oh, it's an ace. Oh my goodness, they get back-to-back -back points. It's nine to two. If they keep up this effort, they might get come back. Oh, but they're gonna give the point. Looks like he stepped on the line. They're gonna give the point to Stack. And the crowd is not in it. It is definitely home court advantage for the, for the athletes. Give them the point back! In there. You gotta get it over. And it does. And they're gonna say it's in. Sydney killed out the line. Judge says it was in. It's 10 to 2. <laughs> gotta stay behind that line. That's one mistake they had last time. He does. Oh, just couldn't get it over. It's 11 to two now, 3.42 to go here in this one. Three th As the winner of this game will move on to play the volleyballers led by senior Gunnar Woolard. Passing hits it over, and it's an ace. 12 to two with 10 point lead. Oh. That one's just gonna skim the net and go over, and it's 13 to two. This was, this was basically just a warm up game for Stack to get themselves ready for the competition in this tournament because it is tough competition as this year the Gravit High School decided that you can only have two volleyball players on a team to make the teams more even. So uh, now this is basically anyone's tournament. So this game almost reminds me of like a, a division one going against a middle school team. <laughs> That's basically what it's looking like right now. Over to Beatty. Oh no. 
Yes, they sure. tried to get it to Beatty, but they just hit it over, but it's gonna work out. Scooty Vang there gets the kill. It's 14 to three. Well, I'm starting to think the only way they're gonna win this is something unprecedented, maybe an injury. Two Up minutes to go here, 15 to three, your score. An injury of the whole team, maybe? They all, they all start cramping up. That's what they got to hope for. Madison hits it in the air. QT Bang hits it over. And that one goes over. Madison going to set it back up to Bassing. They try to get it to Beatty. Not a good set, though. They're going to get it over. Now they're going to set something back up. Try to get it to J.D. Beam. Gets it over. And it's not going to work out, though, as it is a 16-3 lead here. 129 remaining here in the in this first round matchup. I guess he tried to kick it. Um, I guess so. 17 to three the score now. Passing, oh. sets it up, Ving. Over to Beatty, this could get bad. And uh, yeah. Piper Beatty there. Kansas commit for volleyball. 18 to three as we are under a minute to go here. Madison to serve. Get it over. And they're just really struggling here. They don't really know what to do with Madison's serves. 19 to three, the score, 40 seconds to go. Up in the air. Ah. Well, I don't think anybody could say this was unexpected. Yeah. This was. This is really the kind of, this is really the kind of score that you would expect and they matched up these teams. It's a double. Yeah. Double. And it is a 21 to three score. You can probably ice out the clock here. And. Oh, they might go for another point. Maybe they can get their point here. Five seconds to go. They don't need Beam it. Beam over, yeah, gets it 22 good. to three. That's gonna be your final score. The next game will be Block Party versus Spring Breakers. That one is coming up next. Okay, you're gonna talk about how it feels to lose so bad to a bunch of children. Okay. And you're also gonna ask what it feels like to be the best player on the team, because he's the, this is the real MVP. Okay. So give him a little, take a little. So that was a real struggle out there. Um, what are your thoughts? We just, we weren't the ball. We needed to be the ball. And they were the ball. Yeah. But we were not the ball. And, you know, I think that's what cost us the game. Well, it is a bunch of children, so. But you still had a good, good effort. You had uh, three points, I believe. So yeah, still we're pretty proud good. proud of that three. We're, we're yeah. proud of that three. But, yes, we did get humiliated. So, yeah. It was fun, though. <laughs> you guys showed real grit. Um, Thank you. E even in the face of loss, um, what, where does that come from? Still, still having the motivation to still get some points even though you're down. Well, when you become old, you don't get the chance to play ever anything. So you got to go all out in the few moments you get in life, you know. So well, this is my moment, and we got three. Okay. And you know what? You know, we got three. So yeah. Well, that that'll be all. Thank That's you. Right. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Go ahead and off that booty. <clears throat> All righty, we are about ready here for the third game of the tournament. The Spring Breakers, a team full of teachers, will be taking on Block Party. And they're all black uniforms. Here we go. And I, I, I got a chance to talk with Coach McKenzie of the Spring Breakers before the game. And he said he's, since they evened out the teams this year, he's very confident in his team. He's got two college volleyball players and he thinks that they can do a lot of damage and possibly get to the finals. Yeah. We'll see if it helps. Um, yeah, definitely having college experience is big. Yeah. Likens hits it over. And that is gonna be the first point awarded to the Spring Breakers. Little miscommunication there as who's gonna get the ball. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they could fix it though. Block Party looks like a very tall team and they are probably gonna use that to their advantage. That is a huge front row. Everybody there is above six foot. You got Hudson Warmaker, who is probably 6'3". 
Oh, Henning, probably a 6-2. Peyton moved the positioning around. Over to Miss McKenzie, over to Masters, and she oh. <laughs> just gets head topped there. Oh, mercy. It's two to one block party, holy. McKenzie hits it up in the air, over to Mr. McKenzie. Matt Bush hits it over. Henning hits it up, over to Acosta. Oh, Price, with the help of the speakers. Does but it's count? not gonna count. Nope, it is gonna go to the Spring Breakers. It's two to two. Matt Bush to serve. And his foot's on the line, they're gonna they're gonna make that call and it's gonna go to block party. The last two games were blowouts. This is more close. Yeah. We don't, I mean, there's no really clear winner or who's going to win this, so. Yeah. Three to two block party in the lead here. Hit in the air. Coach McKenzie hits it up. Masters hits it over. And it's gonna go. It's gonna drop. And it's a point for the Spring Breakers. They tied up three to three with 6.04 to go. Bethany McKenzie hits it over and it's an ace. Four to three Spring Breakers with their first lead of the morning. Bethany McKenzie serves. We're gonna get it Matt Bush over to Masters. Gets it over Acosta. Price. Masters. A little miscommunication again there. And it's five to three. Bethany McKenzie serves again. Up in the air. And it is going to be another point awarded to the Spring Breakers. Kinsey hits it over. Oh, Mo Henning, but you can't do that. You cannot block a serve. It's seven to three. Here's the hit. Oh. Kinsey hits it. Oh, that's probably net, yeah. Henning really costing his team here with penalties, and it's eight to three now. Yeah, Spring Breakers just look like they're starting to pull away here. Oh, that's going to be out. It's eight, or excuse me, nine to three. Matt Bush talking a little trash to the stands. And it's going to be an ace. As you said here, Spring Breakers looking like the dominant team. Lots of just bonehead mistakes from Block Party. Not not good communication and penalties really costing them. The serve is going to go out of bounds, so the block party will finally get their point. And nope, <laughs> another bonehead mistake by block party. Yeah. It's eleven to four. <clears throat> At the start, they started like they were like. Um, putting in tough competition, but now they're just making stupid mistakes. Likens hits it over Henning. He's gonna block it over to Acosta. Henning hits that one over McKenzie. He's gonna get it right back though. That one is way out. And 12 to four. Will now be our score here with 3.06 to play. Up in the air. Matt Bush, <laughs> the kill. It is a 13 to four game. It's all spring breakers here. They're ready for spring break, as you can tell. Yeah. I am too. I think we all are. Likens, a bad pass, and point will go to block party. 13 to five, your score with 235 remaining here. A 
Acosta, serve, now Masters, up in the air. Oh, a good kill there. Bush wants to carry, but he's not gonna get it. 13 to six, 210 to go. Acosta with the serve, Masters, the good job. Likens up to McKenzie. Oh, she just can't get that one over though, 13 to seven. We see though here late in these games that the team who's down starts coming back, but it's just too little too late. Yeah. If they just kept this energy and were, wasn't making so many mistakes, I think this would be closer. Oh yeah, this would be a totally different game. Acosta up in the air, over to Mohenning who just taps it over, but I, yeah, he stepped across that half court line. Another mistake for Block Party that's gonna cost them. 14 to seven is your score now. Likens to serve. Ooh, just off to the side. It's 14 to eight now, a six point game, 122 to go. Well, do you think this lead is too, too much to come back from? Or? I, yeah, I think there's just not enough time left as that sh the serve is gonna be just short, it's 15-8. Our next game is gonna be between Block and Roll, who we just saw dominate the first game. They'll be taking on the Net Ninjas, led by Holden Betts and Ashton Spears. But this game, this is what we've been seeing all, all game, just dumb mistakes. They, they get a little bo uh, a point and then they get down. Yeah, you, you see the potential that they have, they're just, I, I guess a little lack of knowledge and experience in volleyball is showing. They have the athleticism, just not volleyball players. 17-8 is the score, 28 seconds, says Coach McKenzie is absolutely hyped up. And that is gonna be another ace from Coach McKenzie. 18-8, they now have a 10 point lead with 15 seconds to go. Coach McKenzie with the serve. Acosta in the air, no good, goes out of bounds and the timer is gonna end and the Spring Breakers are gonna move on. 19 to eight, the final here. So now our next game will be between the Net Ninjas and the Block and Roll. So, Mo, we saw your athleticism. You were just a freak there on the front row, but some mistakes that led to some points for them. Uh, how, how do you feel like your team's performance was outside of those mistakes? I feel like it was because it was 8 in the morning, but I feel like we're a good team, but it's just 8 in the morning. We're all tired. How does it feel uh, to get trash-talked by Coach McKenzie and Coach Bush, even though that we saw Coach Masters and Coach and Miss McKenzie doing all the work? Uh... Coach Bush can't guard me in basketball, so that's all that matters. All right, thank you, Mo. All right. we appreciate it. So now we're gonna have Coach McKenzie from the Spring Breakers. And, uh. uh -oh. say he's got wheels on, that's dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, wheels, a chair with wheels. That's high. Mm -hmm. Coach McKenzie, you, dangerous. you just dominated block party yeah, and made it look easy. Oh, how, does yeah. it, how does it feel to go to the next round and, come, and keep your dominance going from last year? Well, there was really never any doubt. Uh, you know, last year, there was that stack team in here last year. Um, they're not here this year. They, they moved on to, like, the professional ranks or something like that. So I uh, feel pretty good about our chances right here. We did some recruiting in the offseason, got a couple of ringers. Uh, my wife... <laughs> She's pretty good, it turns out. And then we got uh, Coach Masters over here just absolutely uh, destroying. So uh, I feel pretty good about our chances moving forward. Yeah, how, uh, how do you feel like your team is gonna match up against Stacked, who has the most potential in the tournament? Who is that? Uh, Miss Moose's team. Oh, pff. that's weak sauce. <laughs> Thank you, Coach McKenzie. As the next game is underway here and the Net Ninjas are gonna get off to a one to nothing start here. And that is gonna be a kill from Holden Betts who has been dominant so far this tournament. We're tied up at one. That's gonna go down. Holden bets with an ace. What are the teams? Uh, the Net Ninjas are the team not in basketball jerseys. Okay. 
And he stepped on the line. It's two to two, I think. And the ball went outside yep. the gym. Ninja is going to serve. Kyle Murphy is the one to do it. And yeah, that's going to be an ace from Murphy. We have a three to two lead from the Net Ninjas. Three hits it up in the air. Pierce Elsie over to Boleyn Nelson. And that's going to go down. It's three to three here. Block and roll gonna tie this one up. I don't know where he thought the ball was gonna go. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a very competitive game as, <laughs> oh my goodness, Kata Brown just hits it a thousand miles an hour, just not over the net. Christian Gallardo gonna serve for the Ninjas, or will it be Phillips? Oh, it's gonna be Ashton Spears. Is gonna serve. Head coach Carter Flint confident that this team can do good. As you heard Bree say, they just need to get it to Nelson, who's their X factor. As they do, just not the best set. Five to three is your score. Ashton Spears over to Bree, over to Pierce Elsie, gonna set up Belen Nelson. Oh, a good job there. Nelson gonna hit it back. It's up in the air. There you go. And just like that, block and roll is back within one. 526 remaining here in the game. Caden Brown is going to give it to Pierce Elsie, who's going to serve for block party. Excuse me, block and roll. There it goes. Cade Phillips hits it in the air. Holden Betts tries to get it to Christian Gallardo. Can't get it over the net, and we're tied back up at five. With a little flare. Elsie over to Phillips, hits it over, over to Belen Nelson. They should probably get it back to her. No, they're going to give it to Bree. Hits it over in the corner. Kyle Murphy hits it up. Now Phillips over to Holden Betts over, and it looks like that block and roll can reset here as Brown. Oh, no, he just got under that one. You saw the rotation on the ball. But it just came up short. Six to five lead now for Net Ninjas. Oh, a good job there by Caden Brown, but Cade Phillips. Gonna get that one over, and it goes out of bounds. Seven to five, a two-point lead here. Hale Stamps gonna serve again. Well, I'm starting to think this game is actually getting competitive. It definitely um, is. This is a chance to be the best game of the tournament. Spears can't get that one over, and it's seven to six with 4.13 to go. But Lynn Nelson is gonna serve now. Folks, watch out, she is dangerous. Well, I'm seeing most of the points not um, from skill, but more mistakes. Nelson's going to get the ace, 7-7 seven to seven now. And, folks, this right here, if block and roll is going to get going, it's going to be from Nelson's serves. Oh, no. Not good if you're block and roll. Net Ninjas catch a break there as Nelson can't get it over, 8-7. to seven. Now Holden Betts is going to serve. He is confident that his team can go on a run if they get past this game. Holden Betts over to Gallardo, and that is out, and we are tied up again. Eight to eight, and now Bree is gonna serve. That's gonna go out, and it's gonna be an ace. Nine to eight. Block and roll in the lead. Oh, he should have got it to Nelson there. But Holden Jeffries is gonna say, watch what I can do. It's 10 to eight with 2.48 to go. Head coach Carter Flint and assistant Eli Keith are getting hyped up on the bench. And that's gonna be another ace. 11 to eight, they're starting to pull away here. 2.30 remaining. Bree in the air. 
Over to Kyle Murphy. Ashton Spears over to Phillips, who just tips it over. And they're going to get a nice kill there. It's 11 to 9. 217 remaining here. Gallardo's going to serve for the Ninjas. Over to Pierce Alsi, get over to Caden Brown. And they can't get it over. Oh, excuse me, no they can, they just missed. It <laughs> looks like Cade Phillips and Cal Murphy just missed it. It's 12 to nine, a three point lead here. Eric Vogt gonna serve. Murphy, Radash and Spears, that's gonna go way over. It's 13 to nine, 140 to go here in the ball game. Stamps, can't get it. Another ace as it is a 14 to eight, 14 to nine lead here. 128 remaining here in this second round matchup. Vote over, Holden Betts hits it up. Kyle Murphy over to Cade Phillips. Oh, okay. 10 to four, 14 to 10 is your score. Head coach Cash May calling out Czech Razor. 14 to 11 here, three point game with a minute to go. They gotta go, if they wanna have a chance. Nelson up in the air, over to Caden Brown. Pierce Elsey is blocked, but they get it back over. And it's gonna go over to block and roll. Spears went under the net, 40 seconds to go, four point lead. Bless. Thank you. Vote. Over to Pierce Olsey. Over to, tries to get it to Blaine Nelson, but they can't do it. Three point game with 25 seconds to go. Kyle Murphy got to serve it fast. 20 seconds. Oh, here we go. Two point game. 14 seconds. Murphy can't get it. Oh. Murphy can't get it. Three point game and that's gonna do it with six seconds. With three, it's up, and the buzzer's gonna sound, and that's the ball game. Block and roll will now play in the semifinals. I'm here with head coach Carter Flint. How does it feel to win a comeback win like that? Uh, it felt great. I, th I felt like we had more energy than them. We were more together. We got better teamwork. We're just more, we got more chemistry than them. There you go. Now, your next game is gonna be between, their, between the winner of the Cops and Troop 5262, which is basically the Thespians. What is it gonna take to get to the finals here? You only got one more game and then you're in. I, I just think we gotta stay with our game plan. Just play together, don't let adversity uh, take us down. Uh, we just gotta communicate with each other. And like, we had a couple of miss miscues on the last game about not communicating with each other. I think that if we just talk about it and discuss who has who, then we'll be fine. You guys are serving was absolutely amazing. Any comments on that? Yeah, I feel like that's the best part of our game. A lot of people like at the end there with Kyle served it right into the net, kind of lost them the game, but I felt like our serving, like we had a few, but we're, hey, we'll be fine. We're fine. All right, thank you coach. Good luck next round. Thank you. All right. So the cops will be taking on Troop here in this game. I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out. Nathan Moot says, Thomas Moot, her son and I are cheering for her, but she also needs to hustle. <laughs> We appreciate you for tuning in as her team is looking very strong and championship-like so far. Here we go, and we're underway, and that's going to be a point right to the cops. Well, the clock hadn't even started. So Josh Crane to serve for the cops. The cops seem their favorite in this. Um, and there we go. Yeah, as you said, the cops are just absolutely enormous. 
It's a bunch of cops, plus Coach McEwen, Coach Bearden, two baseball coaches, and Dagan Deaton, as you see there in the back row. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a that's double, a double tap. <laughs> it's three to nothing here with three or 7.25 here to go. Cops jumping on him fast. Josh Crane the serve. Oh, Dagan oh. Deaton just can't get that one. The Thespians are gonna get their first points. No, excuse me. Yeah, this is yeah, the, the troops, we're calling them. They are the troops. The troops. Oh, Brian Bearden gonna get the kill there. Four to one the score. Now Bearden's gonna go up and serve here. Good, how are you? That's up in the air. Cops gonna see if they can get something going here. Oh, good try there, but the cops gonna take a five to one lead now over Troop. That one's gonna go out. Well, I hate to say it, but the troops are showing why they're not the favorites here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Any, any sort of. Oh, he chose the kick. It's gonna go out of bounds, though. Oh, oh, oh! oh there we go. It went. He kicked it, and it went in the basketball goal. Oh my goodness! I don't know if that counts for anything, but up in the air, Josh Crane gonna hit it over. It's up now, up for grabs, and they get it over. Ooh, it's not gonna stay in though, and it's nine to one. Is it? No, it's eight to one, I guess. In the air. Cops gonna get that one over. Brian Bearden up in the air. Oh, just short. Eight to two for the troop. Here in the second round of this tournament. That one is gonna be hit out of bounds, nine to two now. I just didn't think they had any chance coming into this. Um, the cops were just always the favorite in this. Yeah, and the, you can tell size matters a lot. The cops are just absolutely enormous. So it, it, it looks effortless watching them hit it over as it's 10 to two now. Cops with a very commanding lead. 444 to go here. Oh, it hits the basketball goal. And it's gonna be another point for the cops. It's 11 to two here with 433, it's a blowout. Well, what I'm also seeing is miscommunication. They just miss things that you could get, but they just let they just the let other it go. Get them. Yeah. Bearden. In the air. Another, yeah, as you saw, another miscue there. It is 12 to 2. A 10 point lead here for the cops. Oh, oh, it's right to us. Oh. <laughs> and it's 13 to two. Thought that was coming for me. <laughs> Every 50 here to go here in the ball game. And that's gonna be hit short. 14 to two here. Winner of this game is gonna play block and roll led by Belen Nelson and Pierre Selsey. Well, this might be the biggest blow we've had. I don't know, Stacked absolutely dominated their game. Just back and forth. Josh Crane hits it over for the kill. Oh. Lots of cheering going on for the troop, but I guess it's hard to cheer when your team is struggling to score. <laughs> 15 to two here, your score with three minutes to go. And it's gonna be another point, 16 to two, as the cops looking like they're gonna get the win here in advance to the semifinals. You, you, were you at the tournament last year? 
I was. Uh, did the cops make it to the final four? Did they? I get believe. Her I believe. Yeah. I think they were like. I think they went against the um, the majority volleyball girls versus uh, the cops. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's the majority volleyball girls last year is the reason why they had to make the rule where you can only have two volleyball players on a team this year. Yeah. Crane yeah, smokes it, goes way out of bounds as the point will go to the troop, and it's 18 to three. I mean, it's just too overpowered to have a, a team full of volleyball girls, you know? Yeah, it's, that's, hard, that's hard to stop. And also, this game is just for fun. It's not yeah. competitive. Yeah, or, yeah. We're here. We're here to raise money for shop with a cop. As he steps over the line, there, Coach Garten, not happy about that one. Nineteen to three, your score. Well, I hate to say they're the best team of the tournament, but they're at least the most entertaining. I'd say. Oh yeah. One thirty-five here to go. Clock is gonna, I don't know, clock kind of froze there. 19 to four with 130 remaining here. As that serve is gonna go out of bounds. Coach Garten giving his server some tips. Goes up in the air. And Coach McEwen can't get that one over. It's an ace for the troop and it's 19 to five. Dagan Deaton hits that one over for the cops. Oh, Crane. Oh, just can't get that one. 19 to 6. And it's another example of teams coming back late, but when it when the clock is doesn't have much time left. They just need to keep they just need to keep this like the entire game. Like, exactly. Momentum matters though, is what we've learned. The teams with the momentum are going to go on long runs. Crane just smokes that one. Well, I mean, unless they can get 12 points, I don't, I don't see. 19-8, <laughs> they've cut it to 11 with 25 seconds to go. He's going to go out of bounds. So here for our next game is going to be, in my opinion, the most entertaining that we're going to have. It is the Volleyballers, led by seniors Gunnar Woolard and Zane Schultz going up against Stacked, led by Shannon Moots and Piper Beatty. That one's coming up right after this on GHS TV as the buzzer sounds and the cops are victorious 21 to eight here. Kale is gonna have a post game interview with a cop coming up. We're gonna wait for one of the cops to meander over here. So that was a great game out there. Um, how, do, how are you feeling? Tired. Tired? I'm a little out of shape, not going to lie. Um, so in the start, you, you started really dominant, 10-2. Uh, to two, And then the, um, the troops started coming back, but you still held your lead. Mm -hmm. I saw some mistakes out there, but that can only be just fatigue. Yeah, you know, we're not really volleyball players out here. We're just here to have a good time. It was a fun game. They played good, and we got lucky. But I will say you guys were the most entertaining. I appreciate it. We know that's what we're here to do, entertain people. Have a little fun. Yeah. Raise money. Yep, of course, for the kids. Yeah. For the kids. All for the kids. All right, thank you very much. Yep. You're thank you. I'll watch that board. We're about ready here for the game of the tournament so far. It's the volleyballers and stacked. Yep. 
All right. Jace King gonna open up this game here with a serve for the volleyballers. We have an official's timeout or something. But here we go, we are getting ready for this one. Coach Dylan Hall and Coach Logan Beaver are ready for this game here. Coach Moots, just a second grader, the youngest coach in the tournament, but she definitely has the most well-built team. And they showed it last game, but it was a pretty easy opponent. But this game, they're gonna have to play. Jace King opened up the game here and we're underway. Shannon Moot's gonna give it to Piper Beatty and she just drills it. And it's one to nothing stacked. Gonna open it up here with a point. Gunnar Woolard talking to his teammates, getting something ready as they're gonna need a master game plan here. They give it to Peyton Myers who is hit by QT Vane but it's gonna go out of bounds and it's a point awarded to the volleyballers. And Zane Schultz is going to serve now. That one's hit over and out. It's two to one now. Let's see here. QT Vang is going to serve for stacked. Well, nothing crazy yet in the first minute. Um, that, that seems to be expected, but. Good dig by King. Hit over, QT Vang's gonna hit it out of bounds there. And Gunnar Willard and Peyton Myers there with the tag team. It's two to two with seven minutes to go. Gunnar Willard gonna serve. He is an absolute dog in any sport he plays. Over to Beatty. Oh, that's definitely a net call. And it will go to Stacked. Piper Beatty just demolishes it on Hunter Roten's head. Four to two is the score. Madison gonna serve. Woolard with a good dig over to Roten. Shannon Moots to Hudson Harris. Good ding by King. It's up in the air and Myers can't reach it though. Coach Beaver is not happy about that one. He's yelling lock in. Five to two stacked in the lead here. Out of bounds. Well, they started to pull away, but um, we might see them come back to level. Oh, a miscue there. Bassing thought he had it, but I don't really know what happened there. We're back to a one-point gang as King's going to serve. Bang up in the air over to Moots. We're going to give it to J.D. Beam. Six to four, as I think Woolard was the one who touched the net. Or it may have been DeWitt. Piper Beatty gonna serve. Oh, it's gonna hit the net, and it's six to five. Beatty's serve was a little short, and with five minutes to go. Moots near to Hudson Harris, and that's gonna be a kill from Hudson Harris. A good spike there, Woolard couldn't really do anything about that one. Seven to five. JD Beam the serve. DeWitt up in the air. Oh my goodness, they're gonna say it went out of bounds though. Oh! Wow. They're gonna say it was in Coach Beaver. It was, they actually touched the net was the call. Coach Beaver losing his mind on the sideline as it's eight to five. Myers tips it up, Bassing. Gunnar Woolard. Oh, a little miscue there. They're still gonna somehow get it to Schultz who can't hit it over. And it's a nine to five lead from Stacked. JD Beam gonna serve again over to Sam DeWitt. Oh no. It didn't look like a pretty set there. Harris up, Gunnar Woolard hits it. 
Now he's getting souls over to Peyton Myers, gets it over. Shannon Moots, QT Vang gonna hit it, and it's blocked by Hunter Roten. But they're still gonna get something set up though. We have a whistle. And it's gonna be awarded to the volleyballers. Looks like Vang hit the net or stepped over the line or something. Hunter Roten gonna serve, there it goes. JD Beam has it. Shannon Moots sets up QT Vang with a spike. Holy moly. It's a 10 to six lead. Michael Bassing will serve now for Stacked. Oh, just gonna be way short. It's, seven, it's 10 to seven now. Under three minutes to go here in the game. A three point lead for Stacked. Jace King over to Beatty. Shannon hits it over. Gunnar Woolard sets it to Peyton Myers. Over to JD Beam. It's a good hit by Moots. And it's gonna go down there. King tried to get it. Coach Beaver telling him to communicate. 11 to seven. DeWitt over to JD Beam. Moots not a baity. Hits it over Jace King over Zane Schultz. Good job there by Wooler to get it over. Gunnar Wooler trying to do something here to get his team back in it. But Peyton Myers gonna get over. We're gonna reset it here. Beatty just dominating right there with a spike. It's 12 to seven with two minutes to go. Shannon Moots to serve for Stacked. There it goes. DeWitt up in the air off the basketball goal. Roten can't do anything about it. And it's 13 to seven. Heads up, oh my. King throws it over, it almost hits one of the spectators all on the baseline. I don't think that guy is doing much of spectating or yeah, on his phone. He's probably playing Clash of Clans right now. Definitely. That was. Peyton Myers gonna hit it over. Good job by Shannon Moots to get it up there. And then over to Piper Beatty. And yeah, you definitely do not wanna, definitely don't wanna mess with Piper Beatty, but Schultz touches the net, so it doesn't matter anyway. And it's a seven point lead for Stacked. As they, it's looking like they are gonna get their shot at the semifinals if they keep this up. As well, they seem like they're still fighting, but it's, yeah. it just seems like stacked is just too stacked. <laughs> Under a minute to go here. Madison over Sam DeWitt. Over QT Bang. Moots hits it over. Peyton Myers hits it now. Oh. It's going to be out of bounds. They got to hurry here if they want to have a shot. 40 seconds to go, 14-8 the score. Oh, good job there. Oh, we're just gonna reset it up here to Piper Beatty. It's out, they gotta hurry here. It's a five point game with 28 seconds. They hurry up. Oh, a good play there by Stacked. Oh, they get it over, Madison just jumping. We're gonna have a net call. They gotta hurry up here. They gotta hurry up. There's 12 seconds. 14 to 10. Beam up with five seconds. It's gonna be too little too late as Piper Beatty with the final kill. And the winners of this one is gonna be stacked. They will head back to the semifinals, 15 to 10. And they are now a step closer from getting back to the championship to defend their title. The Terminators and Spring Breakers are up next. Yeah, I'm here with the head coach of Stack, Coach Moots. How are you doing today? Good. Uh, you, you guys won the championship last year, and it looks like y'all are dominating still. How does it feel to win again? Really awesome. Really awesome. Do you guys think that y'all have a good shot to beat the teachers here? I think so. You think so? Yeah. How, how would you rate your mom's performance so far? How has she been doing? I think maybe a nine. Maybe a nine? Your dad yeah. commented and said that she needed to hustle more. 
<laughs> uh, him and Coach Moots. Yeah, this is Coach Moots. All right, good luck, Coach, and uh, let's see if you can defend your title. Thank you for having the interview with us. Welcome. Thank you. You got the score, Gabe? Okay. Here we go. It's the Spring Breakers and the Terminators here. You made sure the Terminators were blue, right? So here we go. We are just about ready. Terminators with the serve, and we're underway here for the last quarterfinal matchup. Oh, Coach McKenzie couldn't get to that one. One to nothing is the score. The face. Ter yeah, Terminators up on the board first. Bush hits it over. McKenzie is going to get that one over. And it's a oh, point for the Spring Breakers good. here. One to one. What do we know about the um, Terminators? They're Terminators. <laughs> They're Terminators. It's a, oh, my goodness. It's a miscommunication. And the Terminators are going to go up two to one here. They're trying to pull off the upset against the Spring Breakers. Now, sub substitute in for Ms. Hilger is Kelby Bohannon, my father. father. That serve is going to be no good. And it's two to two as Matt Bush is going to serve now. Here goes over. It's going to be an ace for Matt Bush. And the Spring Breakers have taken a 3-2 to two lead. And more miscommunications. And another ace for the Spring Breakers and Matt Bush. Matt Bush. Up in the air, McGuire can't do anything about that, and it's yet another ace. It's five to two. Horn hits it up. Masters over to Likens. Sets it up. Masters is gonna easily get it over there. And we're gonna have another kill there. Masters with that one, it's six to two. It's just domination right now for the Spring Breakers. We expected, we expected them to do this, though. It's going to go out. And another point for the Spring Breakers. Matt Bush is keeping his spot serving. And he has not been disappointing. Oh, just short. Well, that was six straight, but they got a point just now. Um, Seven to three, Liam McGuire to serve. Oh, it's going to be just short. Eight to three now. This is served by Masters. McKenzie going to block that one. And we have a nine to three lead with five minutes to go. Sit over in the air, McGuire. Oh, just short. 10 to three, your score with 446. Masters to serve again. Coach McKenzie up in the air, over to Bohannon. And then Miss McKenzie hits it over. And then Coach McKenzie gonna get on the return, a little miscue, but they recover. And then, oh, that's a tough hit right there. And the Point will be awarded to the Terminators, who is also coached by Coach Garten. Oh my goodness, that serve went off of the head of one of the front row. And it's 11 to four, Brooklyn Likens to serve for the Spring Breakers. And it's gonna be an ace from Brooklyn Likens. Twelve to four. Likens to serve again. Oh my, she is doing really well right now serving. 
Oh, McKenzie up in there, it's a light. Comes back down, Masters gets it over. They're gonna set some back up here, McKenzie to Bohannon. McKenzie on the return, it's up in the air. And it's gonna go out of bounds. And it is a 13 to four lead here for the Spring Breakers. And is that Mr. Galloway on the court filming the serve? It is, <laughs> he's gonna. <laughs> it's an ace there for like it. Mr. Galloway got the shot he wanted though. Did you get the shot you wanted? Mr. Galloway, Mr. Galloway. He can't hear me. <laughs> Up in the air, McKenzie's gonna get it over to Coach McKenzie. Back to Masters, Miss McKenzie. Over to Bohannon, with the kill! And it's 15 to four, with 2.47 remaining here. Up in the air, Masters. Bohannon gets that one over to Horn, it's another kill from Bohannon. Good. Another kill for the Spring Breakers. It's 17 to four. Okay. It's up in the air. Terminators. Um, okay. Okay. 156 here to go in the game. Terminators finally get back on the scoreboard, 17 to five. There's the serve. Matt Bush hits it up over to McKenzie. And then to Bohannon, tips it over. That's gonna go out of bounds. Doing some conditioning. We got the uh, block and roll doing some stretches over here, getting ready for their next matchup against, I forgot, who are they playing? Um, I forgot who they were matched up with. The winner of this game is going to play stacked in the semifinals. I'm trying to remember the bracket. Let me let me pull it up real fast. 20 to five is the score. We're, we got 115 to go. Okay, they're going to play the cops. the cops. That's the next game. Okay. Oh man, that will be a tough matchup. I don't. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I'm excited for that game. That should be a fun one. I think that Bullen Nelson and. Block and roll could pull it out, though. They certainly have the athleticism, but the cops definitely have the strength and the height. The cops. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Bush is going to get that one over. Oh, my glasses. <laughs> Warren lost him. He's going to get him back, though. 22 to 5. The clock's going to stop there. 44 seconds to go. It's going to start over. It's going to. McKenzie to serve this one. Masters to Bohannon to Bush. Oh, it's, a, it's gonna go off the net. 22 to six. Man, it is an absolute blowout here. Uh, it's gonna be awarded to the Spring Breakers, 23 to six. There's the hit by Bethany McKenzie. McGuire tries to get it over. It's not though, it's gonna be four hits and a, the clock's gonna go out on this one. 24 to six is gonna be the final score. Are we, are we gonna keep playing it? And that will be your final 24 to six. The Spring Breakers will advance to the semifinals and now an interview with Mr. Garten. How you doing, Mr. Garten? Hey, how's everybody going? Well, um, that was a blowout, um, but I will say you guys showed some grit and you stayed in there for a while. Yep. Um, you know, what, is, what does that stem from? Well, the, these kids have worked together as a team uh, for a couple of years now, um, and I think that really showed out on the court. Uh, they're talking to each other. They got each other's back, and, uh, you know, that's how we train in the, on stage too, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. When we're doing these shows, uh, you know, they always have each other's back, so... Um, yeah, I'm really proud of both teams out there. Uh, both of my teams went out there and, and played hard, worked as a team. Their practice showed off. They actually took some time in practice this week, so um, so I'm proud of what they did. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, there was, I will have to say, I got to be fair, there yeah. was some mistakes, but even it didn't let you, it, or it didn't, you didn't let it deter you. Right. You know, you got to use those moments as coachable moments uh, to help them get better. So we'll All be right. back next year. Yeah. All okay. right. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Garden. I'm going to have an interview with my father, Kelby Bohannon. <laughs> Gabe, you just do everything, like do the game and the score. So, Dad, uh, I saw you in your debut there against the uh, Terminators, and you guys dominated that one. Is that expected in this program here, the Spring Breakers? I mean, yeah, that's what we do. You know, we show up each and every day, you know, and, and, and just produce excellence. And so uh, you get to see that firsthand. Yeah, you definitely did. Uh, I saw you with a couple kills there on the front row. How does it feel to just absolutely go off there for that stretch? Well, you know, you know, I'm just glad to be a part and be able to help my team. Um, you know, I, I didn't participate in the first game. I was a little late getting here. Uh, but, uh, you know, we stepped in and uh, we kind of did our thing and, you know, like I said, just glad to be able to help the team. You guys in the next round are playing in the semifinals against Stacked with Shannon Moots and Piper Beatty. What is it going to take to take down a tough team like that? Well, they're, they're, they're a good team. There's no doubt we were able to watch what, the, what they did in the first couple of games. But, uh, you know, I feel like uh, um, we go out and play our game plan, you know, do our thing, guard the net, keep the ball away from Beatty and Moots. You know, gives ourselves a chance to win. All right. Thank you, Coach Bo. And uh, good luck in the next round. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, having me. Belen Nelson with an absolute spike there on the head of Josh Crane, and it's one to one. Seven twenty-four here to go. Caden Brown's going to serve, and it's going to go out of bounds. Two to one, the cops in the lead. Crane. Oh man, that is way out. Well, Brody, who do you got for this? I'm very confident in the uh, in the block and roll team, but man, they're really struggling right now. They need to get the ball to Nelson. She is their X factor, and uh, th they need to rely their team around her. She's what makes them go. As the cops with an ace. It's four to one. Coach Flint is furious on the sideline with his squad. <clears throat> I think going into this, the cops have just, I mean, they're, they're not the best in the athleticism, but I feel like they, their bigness and like, if you'll say, will be. They got a lot of size. Yeah. That one hit the ground and it's gonna be awarded to the cops with a five to one lead. Man, I'll tell you, we did not expect this off the bat. Hey, it's March. Expect the unexpected. That's right. That one's yeah. going to go off the front of the net. And block and roll finally catches a break. Elsie going to serve with six minutes to go. McEwen over. Megara going to hit it now. They're going to get it to Holden Jeffries, who can't get that one. It's six to two. The cops in the lead. Winner of this will end will be in the finals to face off the winner of the Spring Breakers and Stacked. It's up in the air. Holden Jeffries hits it. Now over to Pierce Elsie. Cops are gonna reset. That one just can't be hit over by Josh Crane. Six to three, back to a three point lead here. Blinn Nelson gonna serve for the block and roll. Crane up in the air. Miscommunication. Dagan Deaton hits it over, and it's a double. Yeah. And that is going to be a point awarded to the cops. 7-3 to three here with 4.58 here to go. Magara to hit it over. Elsie to vote with the kill. Back to a three-point game, 7-4. to four. 4.43 remaining here in the, in the game. Well, they're starting to form something here. Um, 
Trying to come back from the, what, 6-1? Six, yep, 6-1 deficit. They've cut it now to two. Jeffries in the air. We're gonna reset here, Nelson to Bree. McEwen now to Brian Bearden. Nelson's gonna get a, get a good dig there. Elsie's just gonna hit it over, we'll have a reset. Holden Jeffries gonna spike it on there with a kill, and it's a one point game with 4.03 remaining. Well, I will say the star was unexpected, but their ability to come back, I'll say wasn't. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, we, we can see that this team can handle adversity really well. Crane, Bearden. Eric Vogt, gonna spike it on Bearden. And we are all tied up seven to seven with 3.38 to go. I had to say it, but the cop scene is just falling apart. Momentum is shifting here with an ace from block and, block and roll, and they have now taken the lead. 3.22 remaining. Seem to be some arguments about the now placement Crane, of the ball. Now Crane is arguing with the ref, just like last year I heard. <laughs> oh my goodness, Eric Vogt with that one. Nine to seven, three minutes to go. And Coach Flint is now getting excited on the sidelines. Who wouldn't? It's gonna be. Out is the call by the line judge, Kenley Harris. Oh. And now we have some cops arguing. It's 10 to seven here, a three point lead. 2.27 to go. Vote is going to serve for block and roll. A, a, a trip to the finals on the line here. Vote out of bounds. 10 to 8 with 2.16 to go. So from 6 to 1 to 10 to 7, that's a little unexpected, but. McEwen. Under two minutes to go. McEwen up in the air. It's gonna go out. Man. Well, the cops were gifted just two points earlier. Um, we have a timeout on the floor called by. We have a timeout on the floor called by a block and roll. It's their first. With 1.49 remaining here, they are up by one. What do, we, what do we got here? They're trying to get something. And they're gonna hit it over as just as they get onto the floor and it's not gonna work out for them. And we are all tied up with 140 to go in the air. Elsie, back to McEwen. Digga Deaton hits it over and they're gonna reset here. Brown. Blocked by Crane! Blocked by Crane! With 125 to go, the cops retake the lead. Finally got a close game. 118 to go, McEwen to serve. Stepped over the line. We're all tied up again here, minute eight to go. 11-11. We are just under a minute. Here we go. Jeffries. Gonna be in bounds, they're gonna call it. It is 12 to 11. 48 seconds to go. Jeffries to Deaton. It's short, two point lead now. And the cops are arguing they need to get the ball back if they want to have a chance. 33 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. 
Jeffries. That's over. Here we go. Here's the Cops' chance to tie up the game with 20 seconds to go. 19, one-point game. Bearden's going to wait it out, and the clock's going to stop with 15 seconds to go. Looks like we're going to reset the clock here. 15 seconds to go. 13 to 12 is the score. No, they're going to reset the clock. Now there's 22 seconds left on the clock. They're going to reset the clock. And the cops now have 22 seconds. Down one. And they are serving. There it goes. 20 seconds to go. Vote. Digs it. And it's going to go out. Here we go. We are... It's going to come down to this. This is going to be the match point. With 10 seconds, Brian Bearden to serve. Game comes down to this. It's up. Bree hits it. Short. It's short. And the buzzer is going to sound. The Cops with a comeback victory. They will head to the finals. Wow. What a run by the Cops to get themselves back into the finals as Brian and Beeren is head tapping and mocking block and roll. What a game. So we are now ready for Stacked in the Spring Breakers to see who will meet the cops in the championship. But from 6-1 to one to 10-7 to, to 13 and 14. So you, you guys called a timeout with 22 seconds to go. What did y'all talk about in that huddle? That I, I called a quick timeout and saved them some time or they would have lost. They were going to lose. They had already given up. Walk, me, gonna let them. walk me through your mindset on that, on that last uh, hit there with seven seconds to go. What was your team feeling? Oh, they were feeling like they had it in the bag right there and then because you could see where the ball was going. So they were excited. They knew they had it done. Block and roll went on a, a pretty big run oh, there. They, they went did. up by they four did. at one point. This is a big bunch of baloney. He paid them off. I watched him pull out his debit card. <laughs> they, I will they, not lie. I did offer a bribe, but they turned me down. They, they, they went up by about four. What did it take to come back and win this game? Well, uh, you know, concentration. I just say concentration and the will to win. You know, it's a wide world of sports. It's a great thing to watch. There you go. Thank you, and good luck in the hey, finals. You bet. Thank you. All right, so tough game out there. Um, uh, would you like to tell me what happened? Yeah, so we were up 10-8. Uh, they called a timeout. They put an extra point up for them. I'm not going to lie. Then at the end here, 16 seconds left. They called a timeout. They put up 22 seconds on the board. Uh, I just wanted to say terrible refing, but uh, it's okay. Uh, mark my words, I will be back next year. Bigger, better, stronger, faster. Uh, you know, we could have worked harder, um, but next year we'll be back. Uh, and we're going for that championship. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. Well, yeah. First point is to the Spring Breakers, and we are underway here for the other semifinal matchup. McKenzie. Good dig by Moots. Hit it over back to her. McKenzie now with the ball, and that is going to go out of bounds. Two to one is the score now. Pardon me, one to one. So this is the final. This is for all the models. No, no this is the semifinals. Winner will play the Cops in the championship game. Oh. QT Vang hits sorry. it over to Likens, and it's going to go out of bounds. So now it's two to one as the, the stacked is going to get the lead here. That one's going to go out. The Spring Breakers tie it back up at two. Seven minutes remaining. McKenzie. Well, good job by QT there. Piper Beatty. Oh, and that is a... She makes it look easy. 
there as it is a three to two game now, stacked back in the lead. We're gonna get a sub here, Hudson Harris entering the game. And it's an ace from Drake Madison, and it is four to two. Drake Madison to serve again. Over to Will Pittman. That's gonna be out of bounds. A good job there by J.D. Beam judging that one. And it's a three point lead now, five to two, with six, oh, three remaining. Madison. For McKenzie, now Masters hits it over. That is a great job there. And it is five to three. Looks like this is gonna be Matt Bush serving for Spring Breakers. Moots to Beam, hits it over. It's Coach McKenzie. Over to Will Pittman. And Piper Beatty is gonna hit that one. And McKenzie just goes right through his hands and it's six to three. Piper Beatty's gonna serve now. Masters in the air to Likens. He's over Beam and Harris. Likens gonna set up Masters. Ooh, a good job there. She hit it to Piper Beatty, which is definitely something you probably don't wanna do. Pittman on top of Moots and J.D. Bean. Gets the Spring Breakers back within two, six to four. Bassing can't get that one. And the Spring Breakers are within one, six to five with 4.40 to go. Masters to serve again. Bassing in the air. Shannon Moots over to Piper Beatty. McKenzie hits that one over the Lycans, gets it over. Bassing can't get that one, and we are all knotted up at six with 4.20 to go. This is shaping up to be an interesting game, too. <laughs> Sam DeWitt there on the loudspeaker. Bassing up in the air to Moots, over to QT Vang. It's gonna go out and the Spring Breakers have taken the lead here. It's seven to six. Here, Bassing digs that one, good job. Over to Huddy Harris, over to Matt Bush. Now Brooklyn Likens is gonna set up Will Pittman over the, beam, over the head of J.D. Beam. Now over to Coach McKenzie and a miscommunication there is gonna get this game all knotted up at seven. Stack ties the game. They should tie the game. Uh, they they I forgot to add the point. We'll keep it at seven to six. <laughs> well, if they win by one point. <laughs> Masters. Oh, just short. Let's see if they'll give them that point. Wait, oh, it's eight to six. Stacks, okay, so Stacks in the lead. I, for some reason, I thought that the Spring Breakers were a, the home team on the scoreboard, but it looks like it, they're not. I'm just, just silly. QT. Gonna hit that one over. That's a good job right there. And Stacked now has a three-point lead with 2.40 to go. JD Beam to serve here. Oh man, Coach McKenzie sends that one into the bleachers. With 2.20 remaining, 10 to six stacked with a four point lead. Madison on the sideline wanting a sub and wanting him to go in. Moots over to Huddy Harris. Good job there by McKenzie. And now Brooklyn Lycan sits that one over. We're gonna reset here, QT Vang. Oh my goodness. QT is just dominating so far in this front row. 11 to six with 150 to go here. Bush over to Likens. 
now to Coach McKenzie. And he gets that one in there for a kill, and it's 11 to 7. 135 to go. They kind of got to hurry up here. Likens to serve. Over to Bassing, who hits that one out of bounds. 11 to 8 now. And we are now to a three point game with 120 to go. Uh, we are wasting some time here. Likens to serve again. Three point game. There he goes. Beatty's going to hit that one over to Moots. All right, we're under a minute to go now. Harris gives it to Masters, bassing in the air, goes off the ceiling, but Moose does a good job keeping concentration. 45 seconds to go, Pittman. Moots to Beatty for the kill. And that is probably the nail in the coffin as they go up by four with 30 seconds to go. And the Spring Breakers are gonna use Trying to call a timeout, they will get one with 28 seconds to go. And we're underway after the timeout. They're trying to call another timeout. They will use their second timeout. They're going to get a sub in. Kelby Bohannon will sub in for Pittman to serve. Three-point game. There it goes. Oh, it's just short. 13-9 to nine here. Moots to serve here. Likens can't get there. And it's 13 to, I think they gave a point to the Spring Breakers. <laughs> it's, four, it's 14 to nine, forget the school board. Bohannon can't get that one and that's your final score. 15 to nine is the final and Stacked will play in the championship game against the cops. So the championship game is gonna be 15 minutes long. Go ahead and set the clock up for 15 minutes. The cops and stacked coming up for the championship game. I got is, Piper. Who, wait, we got, who's got it? Which one do you wanna do? I got it, I got it. Okay, here you go, Piper. Oh gosh. What's the cord? So that was a tough game out there. Um, you showed a lot of heart. So do you want to talk about what happened? Um, we definitely should have beaten them by more because they were not that good. Uh, we just need to talk more, but we've gotten this far, so we can just keep going farther. Okay. okay. Uh, there's, yeah, like you said, it should have been more because you guys were certainly the favorites, but you still went out with the win, so that's, that's pretty good. Yep. Um, what about the competition? Did you think they were... Not they only had one good player, and they couldn't get the ball to her, so it wasn't much of a game. Okay. Well, that's going to be it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Yep. That's <laughs> chairs. This little girl, that was a tough loss, but how? Did, but you, your team did a good job staying in that game. What was you guys' we did, mindset? We did. I mean, I felt like we played pretty good. You know, I mean, we, we brought a few new people onto the team this year because I knew that team was going to be tough, mm -hmm. right? Yep. You had Moots, who still plays. Yep. Um, you got Piper. I mean, you know, she's all right. <laughs> she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. And then... Him too. Get off, get off my team. Get off. Get out of here. Then you got. I mean, this year they pulled in QT. Kind 
winner breaks the rule. So we got Win Masters. Winner's gonna win. We had win. to pull her on. Winner's gonna win. Haters gonna we hate. We had to pull Pittman. Good luck. We had to pull. I mean, Coach Bush and Mohannon and Brooklyn. I mean, let's go. Yeah, Likens. Likens. She brought a little bit to the team this year. Uh, yeah, we saw we saw a lot of potential in we you guys' did. team. So I think next year, next year we're gonna have it together. Moots is going down. It, it, is she's there going, anybody she's going down. who who and I'm knew? Gonna take baby with her. Who do you want to bring in next year? Any new recruits that you'll you have? You know, your I've eye been on? thinking about that a little bit. I've been thinking, might be having to steal some players from a few teams. I saw some really, really good potential out here, and I'm thinking, there's a couple I got in mind for next year, but I'm not gonna give my secrets away. Oh, I got you. Okay. Thank you, and uh, you good luck next year. All right, thanks. Where's Kale? Kale, hey, buddy. It's time for the championship. It's the cops and stacked. Stacked trying to defend their title and go back to back. And the cops, who tournament is literally raising money for, are trying to get their first taste at a title. But if the cops win, it's gonna look rigged, so. <laughs> It, it kind of looked rigged last game with the whole timer thing, but yeah. it's whatever. Well, and the extra, extra point. Yeah. Here we go, Bearden with the serve and the championship is underway here. Moots over to Piper Beatty. And it looks like Crane absolutely drilled the net. And it's one to nothing stacked right off, right off the gun. The championship is 15 minutes long, so this could probably be a higher scoring game as Bearden's gonna watch that one go out and we're all tied up at one. Stacked, the youngest team in the tournament. They're starting three freshmen this game, and they got one who is a sub. So they definitely have the youngest talent in the tournament, and they could be dangerous for four straight years. As Drake Madison's going to hit that one over, and the cops will be awarded their first point, or excuse me, their second point of this afternoon. Josh Crane to serve. Goes over to Bassing. Shannon Moot sets up Piper Beatty. Crane hits that one, Dagan Deaton, and she can't get it. It's two to two. QT hits that one over. Madison over to Piper Beatty. <laughs> Yeah, Beard's getting out of the way. He's like, yeah, I'm good. Well, it seemed like these two teams were just going to be in the finals from the start. I mean, mm -hmm. they were just the two favorites most overall. You're definitely right, and uh, it's 3-2 to two stacked in the lead here, hoping for a competitive game. Begara gets that one over. They're going to give it to Beatty. Now, whoa, 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 is that Belen Nelson? Belen Nelson now on the cops. She got looks like she got traded mid-tournament. And that one's hit over. Moot's going to regain it. Now Beatty. Boy Nelson's going to get that one. Over to Dagan Deaton. And it's going to go out of bounds. And it's 4-2. to two. I think we need to get to details on that trade. See what, see what the other team got. Yeah, we didn't get any alerts or anything. But uh, the cops did trade for Boleyn Nelson. So that's what they're going with in the championship. And Piper Beatty is going to get that one spiked down. And it's five to two. We'll, we'll even we'll see if the trade even matters at this point. Yeah. Right now this game is not as competitive as we thought it was gonna be. Nelson's gonna dig that one. Uh oh. That one's gonna go out. 
Six to two is your score with 12 minutes to go. QT gonna serve again. Nelson up in the air. Passing off the ceiling over to Beatty. Moves back up in the air. Moots to Madison. Nagara. Now Bearden gonna hit it over to Madison. And now Bearden off the light and it goes. Oh, they're not gonna count it though. And it's gonna be awarded to, it's gonna be awarded to, uh, crowd not happy about that one. That might be a question. This, this one's gonna go to stacked. QT Vang. And that one's gonna be down for an ace. Nelson couldn't get there and it's eight to two. And he stepped on the line. That's gonna be our call here. And it's eight to three. Cops catch a break here. Let's see if they can get a rally going. Passing in the air over with Moots. Now to J.D. Beam, and he can't get that one spiked downward down to a four-point game. Holden Jeffries is going to sub into a game. Another guy that they traded for. They also got Sam DeWitt and Holden Betts on the bench. So they have made some trades to see if they can keep up. And Bolin Nelson, how do you do? And she blocks Piper Beatty, and they're within three now. That did that trade did come in handy. <laughs> and there's an ace. We're down to a two-point game. 9.29 to go. Passing in the air. Word of Moots. I'll give it to Drake Madison. And it's gonna go down. We're down to a one-point game here with 9.12 to go. High in the air, Bassing gives it to Moots over to Piper Beatty. She's blocked again! She's blocked again! And we're all tied up. Wow. We got the overrated chance going on. Well, do you take back the um, not competitive game? Yes, definitely do. Hold it, Bets! Hold it, Bets! Goes up and down hard. It's nine to eight, they're in the lead. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm supposed to be neutral, but that is a terrible call. What even was the call? They say he touched the net. They're gonna give it over to the, uh, over to Stacked. Crane is livid over that call. And they just ejected him from the game. They just ejected Josh Crane. So his sub's gonna be Sam DeWitt, the senior. Well, we haven't seen that in a tournament. No, not at all. There it is. Now we got some more misconfusion. Beatty's gonna serve. DeWitt hits it over to Holden Jeffries. Now Belen Nelson, that's way over. And it's a two point lead now.
Beatty. Over to Bearden. Hits it to Drake Madison. Now Moots. Set up for J.D. Beam. He's blocked by Jeffries. DeWitt's going to reset it here. Deaton over to Bassing. He'll give it to Piper Beatty. Oh, a good job there. It's just going to go out of bounds. And it's 11 to 8. Oh, man. Mm. It's a tough dig there, and you can't get it. And it's a four point lead, 12 to 8. 6.26 to go. Well, the cops started to show momentum, and then with the ejection, and then yeah, it, whatever's it, going on now. Yeah, it gave the momentum over to Stacked. That's over to Drake Madison. Blocked by Belit Nelson again. <laughs> Belit Nelson with a block festival going on here as they're now down by three. We have a whistle blown. Holden Jeffries with the serve. Nelson blocks Shannon Moots. That's her second block in a row when it's down to a two point game. Jeffries with the serve again over to Piper Beatty. Back to Moots to JD Beam. It's a good job there. Madison spikes that one though. And a three point lead now, 13 to 10. Boy Nelson's getting subbed in for Megara. Or she's getting subbed out for Megara. That point is going to go over to stacked, 14 to 10 with five minutes to go. That one's going to hit the net. Bassing subs in for Madison. Hudson Harris is also in the game for stacked. Dagan Deaton a serve. That one's going to be just short. And it's 15 to 11. We have a four point lead. Shannon Moots will serve for Stacked. Good serve. And Holden Jeffries launches it into the bleachers. Great serve there by Shannon Moots. She's showing dominance right now. 16 to 11. 420 to go. Jeffries can't do anything about it. Back-to-back -back aces from Moots. Kyle Murphy will now sub in. And now the cops are just getting all the subs they can get. Caden Brown is now subbed into the game for the cops. Kyle Murphy. So I went up to Megara. JD with the ball. And the Moots. Murphy in the air to Bearden. It's going to be Holden Betts, who is now subbed in for the Cops. They have a lot of depth now in this championship game after making all of those free agent moves. And Bearden can't get that one over. It's 18-11, a seven-point lead now with 3.35 to go here in the finals. Murphy's going to let that one go. And it's 18-12, a six-point game now. Megara over to Harris, now J.D. Beam. That one over Kyle Murphy. Brown, that one may go out of bounds, but Brown's gonna hit it. It's gonna go out of bounds. And it's a five point game with 3.05 to go. 18 to 13. We have a timeout called on the floor by the cops. And Anthony is on the court. He'll get a sub in, Anthony Harris. And he is going to get himself a kill. So Anthony Harris subs in for the cops. Or is it over? Oh, it's going to be another kill from Anthony Harris. Nothing that Stacked can do about that one. It's 14 to 18 now. Throws that one over. 
And it's going to go down for another kill. It's Why was this guy all this game? He is just overpowered in this game. It's 16 to 18. He gets them back with him, too. Should have subbed him in earlier. Exactly. There's 2.10 to go. He throws it over. Beatty's going to let it go. She cannot get to that one, and it's 17 to 18. They're now within one as Harris has gotten them back in this game. Throws it over. J.D. Beam can't get there, and we're all knotted up at 18. One forty-four to go here. We're going to call a timeout here. So I think they're going to sub out Anthony here as the ref tells them to. They got to send them. They got. They probably got to send him up to the pros. Now he's just been called up. My ESPN just went off. He just got called up to the big leagues, so he will go up and play in the pros now after showing some dominance here in the shop of the COP Championships. We're all knotted up at 18, 140 to go. Beatty gets that one. And it is now... We're having an interview? Who's doing it? Kale? Kale, you got it. Anthony! Anthony, we're gonna do it. Anthony! Anthony, let's go. Anthony, right here. Anthony, right here. We're gonna do an interview, all right? Did you put these headphones on for me, all right? Can you hear me? What? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, you good? Yeah. That was a really dominant performance out there. Coming up next. Yeah. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. So, how 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 did you do all that? That was that was incredible. I've like I've never seen that before in my 30 years of commentating. You know? How'd you do? Wise words, very wise words. Um, What's that? Did you answer some questions already? What questions? Did he ask you some questions? Not yet. Okay, can he hear you? I, I think so, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, you had a really dominant performance out there. How'd you do? Good. You, li you, like, you like doing this? Are you gonna come back next year? Sure. Sure, all right. That was a really... Um, how does it feel to have everybody be so proud of you and support of you? What's that? Very, well, how does it feel to have everyone be proud and like supportive of you? I think it feels good. All right, good job, Andy. All right. Loud well, sound. Yeah, it's pretty loud. We're going to get Brody back on the mic now. Thank you, dude. Good job, Anthony. Well, we thank you for that interview. And the buzzer sounds and stacked will repeat us back to back champions here. And the crowd is not happy about it. We thank you for tuning into this broadcast on GHS TV of the Shop of the Cop Volleyball Championships. Have a good day, everybody. Oh, I almost <laughs> You laughing, Brody Bohannon? Ugh. You still in here. That's terrible. Coach Beard, you, you basically just played the Los Angeles Dodgers of volleyball and played good with them. Uh, what was you guys' mindset going into this game? Hey, we always had thought, shot that we had to win that game, but, uh, you know, our, our best player by far of the entire match was my man Anthony coming in, getting six or seven clutch points right there to come in and tie it up for us. That was absolutely amazing. I appreciate everything he did for this team in that match. That was a bit. That was a big moment there. Uh, explain uh, after you guys took Anthony out of the game. You guys had all the momentum. Uh, what what happened there in the final in the final minute? Well, you know, um, 
you know, QT Vang just kind of took over the serve there and kind of took all the momentum that we had and just kind of put it right back down our throats and said, you know what, you guys are going to take this and you're going to like it. And, and we did. Uh, you know, they Miss Moods put together a great team. And um, apparently I'm getting kicked off because we're not the champs. So Mr. Galloway's kicking me off. Here is uh, QT Vang and his, oh, here's Miss Moods. That, that, that could have been worse, Miss Moots, but I appreciate you playing a fair game. I'm going to put you on the mic. All right. Good job, man. They won't go for this? Oh, how are you going to do that? Here. Hold that. Miss Moots, you guys just went back to back as champions. How does it feel? Amazing. Run, so amazing. Run me through the moment there in the final minute. You guys were tied up. What was rushing through you guys' minds? Gotta put the ball away. We gotta make it happen. And uh, but I was super pumped that they got Anthony in the game. That was awesome. Yep. Uh, in the start of the tournament, nobody really wanted you guys to win. How no. did you guys have? Nobody wants winners to win. <laughs> How did you guys take the criticism from the fans as they were? Yeah, yeah. You guys got a dynasty we starting do. up. We have a dynasty. You want to come over here, Pace? Hold that, tro hold that trophy up. Yeah, that baseball, volleyball trophy. Yeah, uh, we do have a dynasty starting here, and we're just gonna keep rolling. We're just gonna keep rolling every year. We got young players. Are just gonna keep pushing through every year. Um, and the hatred from the crowd actually gave us so much energy to keep pushing through and uh, and fight. Yeah, you guys have one of the youngest teams here. I got th four freshmen and a sophomore standing behind me. You guys have so much potential to absolutely yeah. dominate the following tournaments. Yeah, it's and just, uh, it's just, yeah. I can, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what teams people put together to try and compete against us in the future. All right, congratulations. Congrats, Coach, on another championship. Woo! And uh, we'll see you guys next year for next year's tournament. All right.